Okay, so imagine Kling, Minimax, Flux, Llama, ChatGPT, and many more models in one tool. Yeah, today we are going to dive into a truly all-in-one AI tool. This tool is one of if not the most compact AI tool that basically supports all the biggest AI models and more. With this tool, you can access all the latest and greatest AI models that include the latest LLMs like the GPT models, the latest image generation models like Flux models, it also supports the latest video generation models like Kling and Minimax, and a whole lot more functions all in one place. This tool basically gets rid of the hassle of jumping from one app to another while creating AI content, it's truly like a dream come true. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is the AI tool that I was talking about and that we'll discuss today. And when I say all in one, I mean all in one. This is Chat LLM Teams from Abacus AI, and don't worry, the link will be in the description. These are the key features, access to all the LLMs, user management and reporting, chats with large PDFs and creates custom chat bots. It is one AI assistant with access to all the top LLMs, can be used for web search, video and image generators, and an AI coding assistant included all for $10 a month, and when you just get a grasp of how packed this tool is, you would know that that is an insane deal. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's scroll down. So access to state-of-the-art LLMs. As you can see here, it supports GPT 4.0 and GPT 4.5, 01 and 03 models. It also supports Sonnet 3.7 model, Alama 3, and Gemini 2.0 and 2.5. It also supports DeepSeek. And from what I see here, their own LLM, which they call Abacus Smog. And these are just the top ones, so they also support many more. Okay, so if you scroll down, you'll see experience the fundamentals. One AI assistant to rule them all. These are the models they offer. So you can also use it to search the web. Um, you can use it to chat with docs. So basically for this feature, you can upload any PDF and it will be able to summarize the whole thing for you and you can also ask it questions about the PDFs. This is perfect for large PDFs that you don't have enough time or strength to read. The next one, it also supports image generation models like Flux One Pro. So that's nice, you can use it to generate images, and it supports multiple image generation models. Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, Flux 1.1 Pro, then the Recraft Ideogram, that is nice. You can also use it to generate videos from text. It can also be used to organize your projects, organize charts and files in your projects. It can also be used for deep research. You can also use it to generate docs and PowerPoints for your presentations. It can also be used to humanize texts and regenerate responses. So I think this is a really cool and unique feature. It can be basically be used to personalize your experience. This is basically a customization feature that's really cool. It can also be used for voice transcription. It's also supported on iOS and Android. And it has a voice mode too. It can be used to automate tasks. It can be used to edit your code or text, which is nice. This is the Artifacts Playground, which can be used to express your creativity. So that's nice. You can use it to create your custom chatbots. It can also be used to execute code, analyze data, and draw plots, which is nice for your projects. It can also connect to GitHub to submit PRS. That's that's really nice. Um, you can use LLMs to perform tasks on your computer. And it has an AI-powered code editor that apparently comes as a free edition with the whole subscription package. You can also use it to build and host apps with app LLMs. Okay, so if we scroll down, so this is basically what I was talking about before. It comes with free bonus code LLM that basically helps you edit your code to make you more productive. So that's really nice. Um, augments your human workflow. Oh wow, you have full control over your data. So it won't use your data for training your LLMs, which is really nice. Okay, and apparently in the settings, you can control your chat history and delete conversations, which I don't know if I've seen any other LLM do. So that's nice. An AI brain that connects all your tools. And yeah, let's basically get to it. So we just scroll back up and sign in. Once you're logged in, you'll be presented with this interface. Now this over here is the list of all the LLMs they support. They support GPT-4003, Mini High, Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is cool. 
Um, they also support Alama 4 and their own LLM, which they call Abacus AI Smog. I would like to test that out. So yeah, you can use it to generate image, edit codes, PowerPoint engine, deep research, and a whole lot more. So yeah, let's test it out a bit. So to start, let's first of all try out the LLM. And the specific LLM we'll be using is their own Abacus AI Smog. Now let's ask it to generate a detailed prompt for a particular image. So just like this, let's see how it does. Um yeah, this is a really detailed prompt, a really really detailed prompt. So let's go back to copy. So we copy this entire prompt and open the image tab. Select the model that I'm going to use. The number of images, we'll leave it at 1, then we simply paste in the prompt. Um unselect this because the prompt is already really detailed, we don't need any more modifications, and hit generate, and it has cooked, and wow this image looks really nice. So yeah, and over here we can edit the image, we can download it, and yeah we can look at the prompts, so yeah let's try another image model, because I think we can get something better than this, let's try another image model, um so basically we open the image tab again, Select Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, paste in the same prompts. Let's deselect Modify. Yeah, and tick this for better quality images. Leave this, leave image prompt strength here, aspect ratio should be 16 by 9. And let's hit Generate. And boy oh boy look at what it cooked. Now this is an amazing shot, you can see how it adhered to the prompt faithfully. That's really really nice. So yeah, we can just download that, and let's see how we can convert this into a video. So now to generate a video of this image that we got here, we can go to more, then go to video gen, then as we can see here, it has all of the best video generation tools that we can ask for. It supports Minimax, Luma Labs, Runway Hunyuan Video, also supports 1.2.1, which is one of the best video gen models. It also supports the latest Kling and Google VO2. For this specific image, let's use Kling. Now we can select between standard version and pro version, and I'll leave it at standard. Let's upload our image. And for the prompt now as you guys know, we leave the prompt empty for at least the first video, to really see how it understands the image. Now we can just hit generate. Okay, apparently we have to fill in the prompt, so let's just put in something simple like this. and um turn off the modify prompt for the input cfg scale leave it at that 16 by 9 aspect ratio and as we can see here the duration can go up to 10 seconds which is really nice but we'll leave it at 5 and hit generate now in less than two minutes as we can see it has cooked so let's see what it has delivered for us Wow, just wow. Wow, this is amazing. Amazing work. And as you can see it looks very cinematic and realistic at the same time. It also has amazing lighting. This is a really nice video we got from a really nice prompt that their LLM generated. So let's go to what you all have been waiting for, and see how this tool does with AI influencers. So let's go back to the LLM. We are still using Abacus AI Smog. So let's type this in. Okay, so let's hit this for the LLM, to give us a detailed prompt, and look at what it cooked. So first of all we copy the prompt, then we go to generate an image for the prompt. The model we'll be using is Flux 1.1 Pro, um let's generate two images this time, then paste in the prompt here, turn off modification, and turn this on for better quality images, and the aspect ratio should be this. And let's see how it does. And it is done. And wow these images look stunning, it really cooked well. I like the detail and the fact that it kept with the theme of the Easter celebration, while also not overwhelming the image with the theme. It looks really really nice, just perfect. It just looks exactly like I envisioned, so there is that. Now let's convert these images to videos. So we have to go to more, 
then video gen. Or first of all, we have to download these images. Okay, so to convert the images to videos, we have to go here to more. Go to video gen. Then as always, we use Kling standard version. Then we upload the image. Let's say this one and add a simple prompt. Um, something like that. Then aspect ratio 9 by 16, duration 5 seconds, and yeah, click generate, and let's see how it cooks. Okay, so it's done, and let's see what it cooked. And wow, this is just amazing. Literally zero morphings. I actually thought there would be an issue with the hair flick, but it looks just perfect. That is really, really nice. Okay, so let's generate a video. For the next image you can download this here and yeah let's generate a video for the next image okay let's go to video gen as usual use cling or let's try something different let's use halo ai then let's upload our image and put in a prompt and for this one let's turn on the modify prompts options to see what it can do with it and click on generate and as we can see it is done and let's see what it cooked And wow, this is a lot. This is amazing. I did not ask for this much, but it still delivered. This is really, really nice. I love how creative it got with the whole prompt modification. It's really nice. I could watch this all day. So yeah, there is one more feature I want to highlight, which is really nice and unique. And it's this human eyes feature. It literally gives you the ability to customize your AI according to your liking. So it shows you the tone that your AI can use. And then if you have any additional instructions you want to use to customize the LLM, you can add them here. So yeah, this is a really, really nice feature. And all this just for $10. Now this is an amazing deal because if you paid individually for some of the tools that are crammed into this, you would spend way more than even $100. So this is the most efficient tool to use. And yeah, that's basically it. So be sure to like and subscribe for more AI content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.